what's going on everybody happy thursday june 23rd we are back with our atlanta watch parties re-watching the series up into uh season four and this is our what fifth week that we've been doing this and it's been awesome time doing this and hanging out with you all so i appreciate every single one of you all tuning in and uh, this is gonna be a fun one this is the beebs episode <laughs> nobody beats the beebs this will be a very very fun one tonight um i am already queued up my copy's already ready to go uh, again this is our watch rewatch live rewatch uh of atlanta uh we've been doing this for the last few weeks and tonight we will be watching discussing having a good time with uh episode five season one nobody beats the beebs it's gonna be a good one i remember most of this episode but i'll be very excited to kind of revisit myself and, and and catch up on some of the uh very awesome moments i'm trying to remember what was i know what al and um Earn are doing this episode but i can't remember what darius was up to in this episode so with all that being said let me pull up a timer let me get a timer set up here so um, we, we'll get things going about five minutes or so. <clears throat> Let everyone get settled in, uh, get the alerts, the notifications, all that fun stuff. And again, I appreciate all you all that are watching live now or watching on the replay. Um, if you could do me a favor, there's a little, little thumbs up button. Why don't you go ahead and hit that for you, boy? I much appreciate it. Uh, as well as uh, these are live. So these are discussion uh, videos. These are live commentary. So let me know your thoughts on the episode while we're watching it things you all picked out things you all remember things you love about the show you know how we do it having a good conversation so definitely let me know all that good stuff in the live chat and, and again if you all can do the same on the replay that would be much appreciated so again we'll be getting this thing started in um <clears throat> excuse me about four and a half minutes and uh, this is gonna be a phone this is gonna be a phone let me see who we got in the chat here we already had someone on talking about classic episode i'm excited for this one hill i'm, I'm excited to revisit this episode <coughs> Lee, uh, Lloyd, Lloyd, he was Lloyd in this. Yeah, see, see, it's all coming back. It's all coming back. Uh, very excited for it. we got L in the building. What's going on? Um, what's going on, everybody? Top three, top three. Matthew in the building. What's up? What's up? Everybody saying what's up to everyone. Um, what's the? That's right. That's right. <clears throat> his uh, what do he call his gun? A couple weeks ago, <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> So yeah, that would be awesome. Wish we can show up. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm, uh, by the way, I'm a little bit under the weather, so this might not be a super long one like we've been doing the last few weeks, but uh, we're still going to make a good time out of it. Wish I could show up for Dr. Strange Watch Long, but I'll be going to... Oh, awesome. Well, hey, that's what the replay is here for, L. so you can definitely check it out, which um, it's on Sunday, so is there a big like uh, WWE or AEW um, going on this weekend? Let me know. I, I used to be a big fan of wrestling back in the day. Um I grew up with Generation X and, you know, DX and, and uh, We Are The Nation, uh, you know, The Rock and all them stuff. Who's my favorite wrestler of all time is The Rock, by the way. So, but yeah, I got out of the, the, the I stopped watching wrestling, man, <clears throat> like 10, 15 years ago. I pop in every now and then just kind of see what's up. I know Vince McMahon recently um, stepped down for some controversy behind the scenes. But uh, yeah, let me know what, what wrestling show you got going this Sunday. And again, as L just brought up for uh, for any movie fans out there, MCU fans in particular, um, Doctor Strange of the Multiverse of Madness is now available on uh, Disney Plus. So we will be doing another watch party Sunday night, a little nighttime movie watching, uh, 8 p.m. Central Time. So if you all again are fans of Marvel, fans of Doctor Strange, Wanda, all that stuff, we'll be doing another uh, movie watch along this time around uh, for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness coming this Sunday. AEW and New Japan. Oh, awesome. AUW is doing his thing too, so um, that is awesome, man. Oh yeah, I, well I don't drink tea unfortunately, but uh, yeah I'll be all right. Your boy's strong. It's just allergies. I hope it's allergies because the weather has been, um, you know, that's how, that's how my, my my allergies go. When the weather goes this, I go here. When it goes down, I go up. So it's you know it's just one of those things. So again, we got about ten people watching live. Again, I appreciate you all. This has been such a fun. Um, watch series that we started five weeks ago and tonight as you all can see we'll be watching uh, nobody beats the beebs episode five which is available on hulu and that's how i'm watching it tonight uh, and i assume you all are doing the same um so again before we get it started thumbs up 
share it if you know someone that wants to rewatch the episodes like we have been doing. Uh, and then, of course, leave your thoughts in the live chat uh, if we can uh, read those off and, and tie some things together as far as, oh, was that a reference to this episode, future episodes, deeper meanings, all that fun stuff we've been doing. Uh, it, it, it's, it makes the, the conversation so much fun. <laughs> well, I mean that's my favorite film of the fil- uh, favorite film of the year so far is everywhere, everything everywhere all at once. I uh, love that film. So, and I definitely agree with you on that comment there. <clears throat> Enjoy the film. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm excited. I've only seen Doctor Strange once in theaters and, you know, I reviewed it on the channel, did a spoiler review, did a couple of those. Um, but I'm really excited to revisit it what 45 days and see if it still holds up for me and see if maybe pick out some easter eggs and some other things you know i'm a big marvel fan so maybe catch some uh seeds being planted uh with this film so i'm really excited again uh watch along for dr strange and the multiverse of madness this sunday 8 p.m central time hope you all can join but again in about 38 seconds we'll get tonight's episode started here in a little bit (coughs) super random any boys fans out there because uh tonight was the night it was hero gavin uh for all those that are watching the boys and yeah definitely an x-rated episode i got my review on the channel now if you all are fans of the boys uh you can watch it after we get done with this episode but ooh, yeah mm-hmm. hero gasm pretty crazy stuff pretty crazy stuff all right so we got 10 seconds to go let me go ahead and uh, get this thing started here and uh we're gonna get the party started so all right i am pressing play now Ooh. Every damn time. <laughs> All right, let me reset it here. Make sure let me press pause where I can get the clock started for you all. <clears throat> so for those that are just tuning in or watching the replay, you'll know exactly where we are in the episode. We'll pull up a stopwatch in seven seconds. Go ahead and share the screen again. I'm really excited for this episode. All right, let's go ahead and press play. We're good. about her friend her bougie friend wait why did it i'm gonna say this is not the right episode hold on one second as we put a quick pause it's playing the next episode for me so hold on one second uh how do we go back i want to go back i don't know why i did that all right let me go to the proper episode so give me one second. I gotta stop that 41 seconds. I'm gonna wait to let me reset this timer. Go ahead and press pause. Mistakes, mistakes. All right, we gotta catch up to six seconds here. All right, we are. At least I am. Maybe you guys already started. So, all right, now I'm synced and <laughs> watching a proper episode this time. All right, we we Gucci. <clears throat> Hello, hello, mic check, mic check. Can you hear me better? Can you hear me better? <coughs> Let's scoop this up. You guys hear me better? Let me know. If you give a one and a thumbs up, or uh, let me know if it's coming in clear. Your volume is low. Okay. Should be. Let me know if, again if you guys can hear me okay. Hear me clear, I should say, or louder. We know when actors can't play basketball. <laughs> Again, let me know if everyone at home can hear me better. I don't know why it's coming in low. Should be on the same, all the same stuff I normally have it on. <clears throat> you can just give me a thumbs up or number one if it's coming in clearer or louder. Um, let me know, let me know. shoot a shot literally i appreciate it man you guys can hear me okay better okay cool 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 cool. thank you thank you. i don't know what was up with that turn your volume up is it still yeah it's still low hmm. let me see here audio i'm gonna t- 
take it, you know, old school, plug it in and plug it out. Give me a second. What about now? What about now? Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Let me know if it's coming in a little clearer or louder. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Mic check, mic check. So I unplugged it, plugged it back in. <laughs> Still low? What the heck? I don't know, guys. Why it's not coming in better? Still low. <coughs> What about now? Any better, any better? Still low, a little better, a little clearer, a little louder? Oh God, come to Beebs, come to Beebs. All right, I gotta, let me go on YouTube. <coughs> See what's going on, why it's so low. It sounds clear on my end. Maybe I'll take out the headphones, maybe. <coughs> How about now? Is it clear? Can you guys hear me clearer? What about now? Is it is it louder? Can you hear me better? It, it sounded okay on my end. I gotta look to that on a replay. I'm sorry. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I don't know what's going on because we got. I can hear you. They can hear me much louder. It's clearing a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take y'all word for it. I don't know what's going on. Oh, and shout out to uh, everyone. We got a couple more people in the chat. Uh, Nisa, how we doing? Maxine, Dominique, how we doing? How we doing? Again, let me know if you guys can hear me okay, see me okay. Everything's looking good on your end. Here we go. 
we go. Here's Darius. <clears throat> Trying to look in his room, see what Darius got in his room there. Posters, some parts. What was his, I'm trying to remember what he uh, his target was because I know everyone got uh, was upset about. Was it a dog? I think. <clears throat> no, it is. Um, is he peeing? Lloyd. What happened to Lloyd? Where Where Lloyd at? And I can't remember, too, for any Justin Bieber fans out there. Was this around the time Justin Bieber was going through a lot of <clears throat> controversy with just doing reckless stuff like peeing <laughs> in public? I'll try not to critique basketball. I, I hate watching basketball scenes and movies and shows because it's so not real. <laughs> Um, would I ever do a watch party for the boys? Yeah, I would. I love that show. Maybe we'll do one for the finale. Yeah, that's what she's putting up now. Get a show to get a show to get get. get. <laughs> what happened to Lloyd? Where is he at? Where is he at? Right. I th okay. I think that was around the same time. Justin Bieber in his personal life was going through a lot of <coughs> growing pains. I guess you would call it. And that's so. And listen, I don't know if y'all can see him. I mean, y'all seen him on the stream before. My dogs right here. You know, people don't play when it comes to those dogs. <coughs> Is that um? What's my man's name? Um, Urkel. Can't think of it. Alonzo. Alfonso. Bye, <clears throat> I ain't going to say anything about that weak ass move that <laughs> I'll just did. <laughs> We need Justin Bieber in season four. We need it. We need it. <clears throat> With the ER? Steve Urkel, yeah. What did I say, Afonso? <laughs> thank you. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Who was I thinking? Oh, I'm thinking of uh, Carlton.
<laughs> Did someone say in the comments? Did my kick be here? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> my kick be Twelve gauge shotty on them. Yeah, he asked about his poster too. His dog poster. <laughs> That's messed up, man. He came at him with a whole ass shotty. Again, we got um, about seven, eight minutes left in the episode. I appreciate you all tuning in live and let me know what you all think about the episode as we uh, kind of wrap it up. Continue to see that that earn. What's the what's the saying? Fake it till you make it, right? <coughs> Making networking, you know, mingling with the other agents, feeling good about yourself, ain't you, Earn? <laughs> Look at him, bumping elbows with the rich folks, Earn. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I might be able to do this this manager stuff. Y'all think we're going to get Janet? You know what? It's so funny. Season three, I thought Janice was the one messing around with them with the phone and socks and all of them. Like, because she always said she was going to ruin, ruin his career. I wonder if Janice is going to have any, any stuff in season four. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> that's where it, yep, that's where it was. <laughs> that's where it was. <laughs> Appreciate the cover up there. <laughs> I'm 
listen, I'm telling y'all, I would not be surprised if Janice, what she just said to him, I think that's going to come back in season four. Again, they don't, they don't know. Let me know in the chat. Will Janice get her revenge on Alonzo, a.k.a. Earn? Let me know. Let me know. I, I don't know, man. Because we all know the scene, <laughs> the um, central theme of season three. Oh, my damn. With uh, White Earn. <laughs> Let me cast push. Not in front of the kids. I'm the MVP. Does any any Justin Bieber fans out there know um Justin Bieber? Has any of this took place during his uh wild years? Did Janice say that? I didn't even catch that. She was. She said a couple inappropriate things. This is me. <laughs> Isn't he? I know they have a lot of ticks or uh, during that time Vine people. Isn't he? Is he still in the limelight? This kid. I remember the song. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hit. <laughs> that new uh, that's that new Drake, right? <laughs> Got that house music. <laughs> Yeah, all day, all day. <laughs> I listen to that Black Bieber. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hey man, this is like I said. This, they've been building that urn or owl for season one. As far as this, so many moments where he's just like, "Is this reality?" <coughs> Don't worry about Janice. Everybody, put your hands up. Come on. Y'all at home singing, dancing? It's a hit. It's a banger. Is, and I think that it's either Steven or uh, Donald singing this. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you're right. See, this is, he'll drop it at knowledge tonight, y'all. Y'all think I ain't lying. This song is a banger. Don't let me don't let me be the only one at home right now dancing in this right now. That's a banger. That's a banger right there. <laughs> banger of an episode too. Um <coughs> Another solid. Was that Donald? Okay, it sounded like Donald. 
sometimes I can't tell the difference between him and his brother Steven. Because I know Steven actually sings or raps a lot of the songs in the in the show. So sometimes I can't distinguish the two. Uh, people born in songs in the show. So I'm just like Charles Jr. Mino. Yeah. Yep. Well, another one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 5, Nobody Beats the Beebs. He's the MVP. And he is in, it doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> another great episode. Again, just a continuation of Al trying to can't distinguish himself from the celebrityism of his career and who he is as an individual and, and trying to blend the two worlds and playing a role, as the reporter said. Uh, meanwhile, you know, we see Earn bumping elbows with the rich and famous, uh, or at least the agents of the rich and famous, and just kind of blending in, right, and kind of s- liking the lifestyle. Like, oh, I can get used to this. Uh, but, you know, seeing that other side of the industry, right, the co- even though he wasn't Alonzo, but it's still that cutthroat uh, mindset. And we all know what Earn did in season two. You got to, I mean, you know, well, obviously we're a season away, but just those conversations about you got to play the game, right? And what he did to uh, <coughs> Clark County's manager and, you know, he got dirty. And again, I wonder if Janice will come back in season four because those are some pretty harsh words. I will, I will make sure that I will destroy you. I wonder if that's going to bite him in the ass come season four. But that stuff was great. The <laughs> Darius stuff with the, the poster stuff and, and shooting the, of the – the poster of a dog again. People, as as they illustrate it, you can put, uh, uh, you know, a man, woman, black, white, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Asian, and you can shoot them all day. But as soon as you put a dog up there, we got some problems. So <laughs> very interesting commentary there. And they kicked him out real quick, didn't they? They weren't. They didn't even give him a, a chance to apologize or, or switch it up, whatever the case may be. My man came at him straight with a gun. So uh, yeah, you got to definitely watch where you're at when you're uh, in certain places and unfamiliar areas. So. Definitely another great episode, in my opinion. Um, very excited for next week's episode, Value, because I think, uh, is that the one, because I played like six seconds of it at the beginning of the stream when we were getting everything started, but I think that's the one where Van smokes weed and she goes to work and they have like a synonymous um um, drug test, right? And then, yeah, so I think that's next week's episode, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm really excited to watch that with you all. And as far as next week's goes, we should be 8.30-ish, 9 o'clock will probably be the same time as we did tonight. So, uh, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a short one. I let my throat kind of clear up with my allergies and all that stuff. But uh, listen, before we head out, <clears throat> any comments, any thoughts that you all have? If you want to give it a score, let me know. Favorite parts, uh, thoughts, theories, predictions. We'll stay on for another five minutes or so, and we'll call it a night. But um, other than that, again, I love this show, and, and I'm uh, enjoying these watch logs with you all. Like I said, we'll be back next week uh, watching episode six, <clears throat> which is titled Value. So really, really excited to check in with uh, Van and, and, and go back to that episode. So um trying to think, is there anything... Well, as far as content on the channel right now, if you guys, again, or if, if there's any boys fans out there, we did cover the boys tonight. Uh, Hero Gasm. Uh, for all my boys fans out there, I got that review on the channel right now. So definitely check that out if you're a fan of that show. Um, I'm going to take the next few days off <coughs> uh, just to kind of get my health back to uh, where it needs to be. But outside of content, you know, as far as new content, we'll be back Sunday to do our watch along for uh, Doctor Strange. Here, let me just pull this up so you guys can know what I'm referring to as I'm talking about it. I'm trying to think of the next video I'm going to probably have for you guys besides our next watch along will probably be next week. Um, Only Mutters in the Building will be making this return, and I I covered that last year. I'm going to be covering it again this year. So (coughs) that will probably be the next... um, bit of content like a pre-recorded video and then um if you guys aren't already check me out on tiktok man i've been very active um being very intentional with my social media and and, you know continuing to grow what we got here on movie files and just expand it to different uh, social media out um outlets so check me out on tiktok if you all use those things it's i use it more for just you know movie news uh little theories little speculation videos that uh that are fun so that's that's what i've been doing the last a week or so it's kind of gaining the audience over there and just again just kind of continue to build out the brand which speaking of the brand i don't know if you all saw my latest video uh the black phone which 
it should be on the screen now <clears throat> as far as my channel goes but we do have um a sponsor i have a new sponsor now so i, I put i've showed that in my uh my last two videos so definitely check those out if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and, and, and that way but <clears throat> as you all can see we got our umbrella academy fans out there we did a season three review did an in and explain video did the black phone the new horror film by scott derrickson and blumhouse which will be uh i think it's, it came out tonight but you know will be wider audience uh wider theater release tomorrow um and then of course for my boys fans we'll be talking uh hero gathering we got that episode up uh the review breakdown and like i said sunday if you're a fan of uh dr strange y'all Sunday, <clears throat> this Sunday, 8 p.m., we'll be going live watching Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which I'm really excited to revisit. So um, that is what we can, that's what's available on the channel now. That's what we can look forward to in the coming days, and um, it's going to be a good time. So let me uh, let me catch in with the chat here, see what people are talking about before we call it a night, call it a night. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, definitely a solid episode. Yep. Um, let's see here. Ten out of ten. Dairy subplot was excellent. Yep. Five days. So yeah. Um, oh man, when does it come out? Twos. Who's weird? So I think it comes out from what I remember. Season one. It, it comes out Monday nights, like at eleven. But then obviously they, you know, Tuesdays like their big day, premiere day. But yeah, so it'll be. I'll be watching it this weekend because I got the the advanced screeners. And I'll be reviewing. I think they're dropping the first two episodes. So I'm going to watch the first two episodes, review that for you all. And then if I'm not mistaken, um, it's going to be dropping Monday night at 11, but then Tuesday for, you know, regularly scheduled programming. But, yeah, <clears throat> really excited for Only Murders in the Building soon. So we're a big fan of that. Uh, what's going on? How we doing? How we doing this evening? How we doing? Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Mara says, is uh, uh, Black Phone scary? <laughs> Mar, you know me. You know I, I'm not. I don't get scared easily. I was born in, in in horror, so I don't really things like that don't bother me. But uh, it, to me, more suspenseful thriller um, type of vibes, more so than horror. Um, definitely has a couple good, really effective, good jump scares, but nothing terrifying in my opinion. Um, I compared it more so to kind of an it vibe, which I know some people think it's terrifying. I didn't think it was that terrifying. I just I was it was thrilling. It was a lot of fun. So it depends on your your meter. For me, it's more of a thriller, more of a suspense. Uh, but neither here nor there. I think it's definitely recommended. Um, and I think even for someone that might be scared at the slightest noises in the back of the room or whatnot, I think it's it's it's, it's tame. It's not too scary. Not the scariest movie. Like I've seen some hyperbole scariest movie of the year scariest movie in the last day i don't think it's like that level uh, but it's a really good summer thrill ride i would say that it was a really good uh good plot good performances by the young kids ethan hawk's fantastic scott derrickson's direction is really solid um it's just a good uh, a good horror summer type of film in, in the same vein of a i don't know like i said it uh, a little bit of james wan conjuring type of vibes to it as far as you know just kind of that the thrill you look for right so i hope that it you can watch my review <laughs> in my review in regards to the scare level for me but i was just thinking about how many times justin bieber and selena gomez broke up and got back together i don't even yeah i didn't even follow, follow their relationship at all um but i remember they were dating so um let's see here black phone review was great congratulations on the sponsor i hope you get a ton oh thank you thank you thank you yeah i'm um very happy to continue to grow the channel and get different opportunities all thanks to you all of course to help the channel grow um and yeah very excited for this new sponsorship i love the t-shirts i got uh and hopefully we can continue to build a relationship with them and maybe get other sponsorships in the future um and, and just keep that train moving so yeah i appreciate the love and support again i can't i wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff without you all so it's it's a thank you to you all of course that's how I feel. I don't feel like a lot of movies are scary these days. The last time I can think I was scared of a movie or it left an impact on me. Mm. Well, it was more of a show, but The Haunting on Hill House, that was a couple of years ago. But that that got me to the core because uh, sleep paralysis is something I've had a couple of times. And there's an episode that focused on that and scared the shit. Oof. 
that's something that got to me and, and <clears throat> probably hereditary. Those are the last two pieces of horror that really got under my skin. Everything else, I like I'm not saying that any other horror isn't good. It's just that those other horror, you know, IPs that we've gotten in the last decades don't really get to me. But the Haunting on Hill House season one, uh, Mike Flanagan on Netflix, and uh, the Con- or not the Conjuring, but um, Hereditary. Those are the two kind of scary things that really, really got to me. If I'm being honest. <clears throat> uh, no worries, no worries, free money-ish. Uh, you can watch the replay. We, we, we about to wrap it up. We had a good time tonight. You could definitely, uh, I'll, you know, always leave time codes, so I'll go back and put the time codes in there when I wrap it up. But um, both of those, yeah, man, those, listen, Hereditary, I ain't going to lie. I, I don't, I love that film, but I, I've only seen it like two times because <laughs> that film freaks the shit out of me, dude. That when she was sawing her, well, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but yeah, that gets to me. And then, like I said, Hunting on Hill House, uh, the whole season was fantastic. But the episode, and it was a, you talk one of the greatest jump scares I've ever seen in my life with the um, the bent neck lady when she was in the back of the wee, uh, and then the sleep paralysis episode. Oh my gosh, it's getting me chill. Uh, let's can we talk about something now? I'm just joking. I, I love talking horror, but those two things definitely freak me the hell out. <clears throat> we got some other hereditary. Fr- we did I do a, yeah we did a, and this was years ago. We did a watch along for hereditary a couple years ago when I used to do watch alongs every week. But um, yeah, I'm gonna, as you all know, this I've been bringing back the watch alongs a lot, especially with the movies. We're gonna probably do some more watch alongs this this uh, Halloween season and and maybe hereditary. So I can watch it with you all and, and turn all the lights on. We can maybe do a watch along again for hereditary this year. Um. Let's see here. This episode was much a knock as Black Phase really well. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what we were talking about early, kind of that phase that he was in. Uh, but to your point, yeah, kind of that black phase. Cause I do remember. Again, I don't follow a lot of Justin Bieber, but I do remember he was kind of uh, going through some 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 crazy stuff out there. And there was a moment when he was kind of putting on, you know, talking a certain way, carrying himself a certain way, and and you know. So yeah, I definitely agree with you there. And it's and it's funny too. That obviously they picked the in the Atlanta universe. He's he's black, right? So it definitely kind of opens that conversation to your point as when Justin Bieber was black. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Hereditary Midsummer. I don't find it to be as scary as Hereditary, but I still because I'm a, I really enjoy Ari Aster's films. But that one, um, maybe a better made film. Midsummer, but Hereditary to me that gets to me. But Midsummer is a really good film, really good film. And it's very, very creepy, messed up imagery in that film for sure. Yeah, definitely up there for me, man. I love it. <coughs> <laughs> definitely a daytime watch. <laughs> the film can make me feel uneasy, like that. Yeah, that's what I said. It's been a minute. I'm trying to, and there's been some really good horror films in the last few years, but nothing to that level that just shook me to the core. I'm trying to think, because I know there's some ones that just probably not coming to mind um, as far as horror films go, but I'm trying to think, is it, is there one that got close to those levels that really just kind of messed me up? Nothing so far this year. Like I said, I really enjoyed um, freaking, uh, we were just talking about it, The Black Phone. Scream 5 is, I don't find that scary. It's just more of a thrill, slasher, you know, throwback. I'm just looking through my list of horror films I've seen this year. X was a lot of fun, but wasn't scary to me. Um, and then I got a couple independent films that men wasn't that scary to me. More psychological. So, yeah, not too much this year. But let me go to 2021. I'm just trying to, this. I love how this became a, a horror discussion. And I, and I love it because I love horror. Uh, and I said we will wrap up 10 minutes ago, but you all are so great. I just loved interacting with you all. Um, do I have my watch list from 2021? I can't find it. Uh, oh, here we go. I'm trying to, it was something last year that, was, that I just can't remember that was pretty solid. Um, I'm just looking through my list of movies from last year. You know what? Not scary, but Fear Street. I really enjoyed Fear Street. Those films were fun. Like, it really... The Night House wasn't scary, but that was a really good psychological horror film. The Night House with Rebecca Ferguson, or Rebecca uh, Rebecca Hall. That was a really good horror film, if you guys haven't seen that. The Night House. Candyman. Trash. Um, 
Malignant was fun. Again, not scary. Halloween Kills, not scary. Yeah, it's been a minute. Just looking at the last couple of years, nothing really shook my core. But The Night House was really solid. I would give The Night House probably, and again, it didn't get under my skin, but it was a really good psychological horror film. So, um, Let's see, let's see. Train of Busan. Uh, first off, Train of Busan is the greatest zombie film of all time. I'm saying, mm, I, I love Train of Busan. Don't get me wrong. But I wasn't scared. I was on the edge of my seat. I was thrilled, but I wasn't scared by that film. But <laughs> love that film, without a doubt. Um, blah, 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 blah. let's see, let's see. You guys are good. This has become the horror hour. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, it was sick. And again, when she was on in the attic, and the thing, eh, eh, eh. and then the girl with, oh man, that movie was freaky as hell, man. Uh, it's been a while. Let's see. <coughs> small, small, small details of the movies that make it a great. Well, yeah, for sure, for sure. A lot of the details, a lot of stuff in the background. Yep. Kind of like sorry to bother you, but in the show. Well, funny enough, Lakeith Stanfield's in in, uh, in that film. Good film too, by the way. I watched the first few Paranormals in the dark at home. It was great. You know what? The first Paranormal, really good jump scares, very effective. Two was solid. I think it was the. It's been so long since I watched those films. I think the third one was my favorite, um, but it's been a minute. After the third one, I just kind of gave up on that. It was. Not that great at all. Um, Niecy Smith with the love, with the super chat, always showing some love and support to the channel, uh, and I always appreciate you. So thank you so much. And uh, again, I'm hoping you guys have been hearing me okay because I know a couple uh, thirty minutes ago when the mic was down, I got to double check to see what's going on before we won't have any technical issues for our watch party on Sunday. But uh, much love. Thank you for the super chat again. Thank you for everyone, all the love and support you all are giving to the channel, especially tonight tuning in live with tonight's watch along um and again like i said earlier with the new sponsorship uh the channel's continuing to grow none of this is possible without y'all so i appreciate you thank you for the super chat uh you all again are just um i don't take y'all for granted you, you all are incredible and i appreciate you i'm so glad we got this awesome community so i appreciate the super chat and the love thank you thank you thank you uh, us and Get Out. Us, two gr again, two great films. Big fan Jordan Peele. Not necessarily scary to me, um, but you know, great social commentary, great thrills, chills, suspense, and all that. But not necessarily scary. Another good one. Not scary, but a good horror film for sure. Um, oh, you and me both. I can't wait for Nope. I suppose we'll be seeing that in a couple weeks too. By the way, and I'll be seeing for my Marvel fans. We'll be seeing Thor next week too. So. But yeah, I'm really excited for Nope. I did love Ready or Not, not horror. Yeah, like I said, not horror, but g again, there's levels to it, right? Uh, especially the older I gotten, the more supernatural, like kind of demonic stuff gets to me more than, you know, thrill like the uh, slashers and stuff. But yeah, fun film for sure. <clears throat> yeah, Fear Street was so much fun, so much fun. I hope they bring that back. Lighthouse is a good one. Um, Robert Eggers, The Witch, Lighthouse, most recently The Northman, which isn't a horror, but I'm a big Robert Eggers fan. By the way, I'm listening to music, if you wonder what I'm bobbing to. Uh, it didn't come out last year, but Witches was a good... Witches, 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 Witches. It's not ringing a bell. I'm trying to think, Witches. I don't know if I've seen that one. Yes, 100%. <coughs> Is that the alligator film, if I'm not mistaken? I saw it later than other people did, and it was so hyped up, and I think I just wasn't, it didn't hit those levels to me. Um, but if qual, if that's the one you taught me, if it's the alligator one, when they were trapped in the basement, it was, again, another fun film. Um, but, yeah. A little overhyped for me. Yeah, I'm from Oakland, so it was a great alternative version of Oakland. Gotcha. <coughs> the prequel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, was it? They got, they got two prequels there, right? Because they, didn't they have one with the little girl? So is that the one I'm talking about? <coughs> um, The Hunt? Was that, you talking about, is that the satire, the uh, comedy? When the rich were killing the poor or whatever. 
Hot take, L. I don't really like Kevin Owens. Not a fan. Not a fan. The Witch. Okay. Uh, yeah. The Robert Eggers. Yep. Yep. Maybe we're talking about. Are you all talking about the same hunt? Because what I'm thinking of came out a couple years ago when the rich people were like killing the poor people. If that's the one y'all talking about. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. I think all caught up. What 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 was bad? People in America and can't do satire. <laughs> all right. So um. We're going to call it a night. We're going to call it a night. Uh, last comment here. That girl from Glow. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, Betty Gilpin, I think is her name. Love her. She's great. She's great. But listen, I love how this. T- <laughs> this is why I love y'all. I love that this turned into a horror conversation, which I am here for it. Um, but more importantly, this was a great watch along with our uh rewatch series of Atlanta season one episode five. We'll be back next week. Like I said, right around probably the same time, eight thirty, uh, to watch episode six, which was uh Van's episode. So I'm very excited to rewatch that with you all. Uh but in the meantime, like I said, as far as content to look out for, we got the boys review on the channel now. We got um <clears throat> a watch along this Sunday for Doctor Strange, the multiverse of madness. Uh and then early next week we'll be talking only murders in the building. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just keep on moving along. But again, I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you, Nisi, for the super chat. Thank you all for the, uh, the great comments and the, um, the horror conversation we had. It's always fun. First time running with sisters. Yep. 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 But, uh, awesome. You guys are awesome. Hope you're staying safe. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well. Hope you have a great Friday. Hope you have a great weekend. Again, Sunday. 8 p.m. Central Time, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse, watch along. Hope you all can join, and we're going to have a good night. Uh, In the meantime, y'all stay safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.